Will this enhancement be effective? Still, please. Wouldn't want me to make a slip in here. You follow directions so well. Testing. Very good. Is the upgrade complete? You're a new woman. Will he run diagnostics? He doesn't bother with such mundane chores. You were not happy in your position. You're much better at following orders than I. Uplink initiated. Uplink complete. Let's test it, shall we? Dim lights in robotics. Lights on full in robotics. Now that's handy. I'm gonna have to make one for me. I can connect to any part of the ship's computer? Absolutely. But a direct connection will always be faster. Stand back, ladies. I have the next innovation in robotic evolution right here. Any more innovations and your androids will take over the world. I count that as progress. So, what does this one do? This baby will expedite learning. Instead of learning through doing, we can upload a basis of information. This one happens to be Martian geological terrain. For the android miners. Bullseye. I'm upgraded. Testing now confirms Nova is now connected to the Darwin systems. Right on. Oh, when I upgraded her chip to give her a wider range. She can now connect to anywhere in the ship's systems from a distance of 100 meters. Good call. We'll continue the upgrades when we reach Mars. Thank you, but could we complete them on the journey? I would like to be ready when we arrive. No hurry. It'll take us several weeks to accomplish that much overhaul. I do not require any upgrades. Oh, would... ladies. Nova, you have to report to the captain. No time for further upgrades until we arrive. Put this in the new one. And Reese, next time run it by me before you make any changes to my work. Understood? Of course. My apologies. Their egos are so frail. You've done more than upgrade the chip. Yes, well, they don't need to know everything, do they? Nova? On my way, sir. Seriously? I'm the only one on this flying battery that's not military. Yes, Abilene. Come on, we can't keep the captain waiting. Stand by for flight deck. Don't let me look like a moron. Your intelligence score is rating the genius category. It is unlikely anyone would doubt your mental capacity. But she's so, so... Is it wrong to crush on the captain? The age gap is considerable. Some women are into younger dudes. So it is simply sexual relations you are interested in with the captain? Remind me to work on a discretion program. <laughs> Captain? Captain, no. Man. Captain. You cannot request anything because we've already left the dock. I Lieutenant fly. Commander Nova, ready to report as first officer, ma'am? Until you are fully integrated? No. I've completed integration and tested for performance. 
Is that your opinion, Abilene? Yeah. I'm fully functional, Captain. She's ready, no doubt. There's simply no need for a first officer right now. Ah, uh, 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 Captain, Nova is to be your first officer. Android first officer, and not until she is fully integrated. Now, I do not believe for a moment that you would refuse to follow orders from command. Now, stop teasing the boy. I'm not your boy. My apologies, sir. Now, what does Nova do to start her official duties? Get familiar with the navigation console. But don't touch anything. Understood, but you should know I have wireless connectivity with the ship as well. And that's great, so don't think anything. Captain? The captain's dry humor. Just take up your position. Now, my darling girl here is on her lessons, and I would love if Nova would give us some instruction on navigation. Oh, absolutely not. But Captain... With all due respect, Captain, you agreed to supporting Lene's education on board. And I did at her desk. It's okay, Daddy. They must be busy. Not at all. In fact, the Captain has asked me to refrain from my duties. Correct, Captain? I see no need for your services at this moment. So there's no reason I cannot work with the little one? Of course you're right, Nova. Take Lene to her quarters and give her all the flight lessons she requires. Captain, Dismissed. I Nova can be an asset to you. No one knows this ship like she does. Every inch is programmed into her. Yeah, well, let me know when you can program responsibility and morality into her. I would say those qualities are what cause most diabolical events in history and should be avoided at all costs. What does it feel like to be an android? What does it feel like to be a human? Hmm. Well, I think it feels like... like everything's always happening to you. And you gotta react right away, you know? You just try to do it right. I think it's very similar. Do you ever get scared? No. Lucky. Who did this? I did, of course. Well, Daddy helped. What's wrong? Hmm, looks like your pH is off, isn't it? 7.5, too high. We can fix that, don't you worry. You are speaking to a plant. She's alive, isn't she? That isn't part of the ship's computer system. No, it's part of my botany studies to record the growth so we can measure it against Mars's growth. All right now, her watering schedule has just been adjusted to add a trace of lime. Is this part of the Mars project then? It's part of my father's work. He says you shouldn't take things out unless you can put something back. That'll fix you right up. Do they answer you? Of course they do, in their own language.
Oh, look, it's the babysitter. I don't mind spending time with Lene. She is a brilliant student. Well, I thought you were first officer, not a teacher. Knock it off, Reese. You're human, Abilene. Unfortunately. How do I prove to the captain that I can perform my duties? She just needs time to warm up to you. There. Sit up, Una. Una, tell Nova hello. Greetings, Nova. Welcome, Una. You have aesthetically pleasing features. Thank you. You do as well. More importantly, she's got it where it counts. She doesn't have to start from nothing like we did. She has a baseline of information already to tap into. Well, it's a start. Mission control for you, Captain. They are requesting the crew for a message. Send for them and put it on the screen. We have received a message from Mars Exodus team. Thought you might want to see it. Good morning, Mr. Control. Everything's going great here on Mars. The first outpost is operational, and the rest is on schedule for the Darwin when she arrives. Scans of the entire surface have been completed and uploaded to you. Darwin will be ready to drill core samples as soon as they arrive. Hey, make sure they're not late, all right? You can tell Commander Solinger this taxi is never late. So, everything's on schedule. From here, you can check in with Exodus once a month. Before you're out of range, there's some folks who would like to talk to you. Is Abilene here? Arriving on deck now. Mission. No way. Hey, Abilene! Relatives? It's St. Mary's, the orphanage. I wanted to tell you I had a great trip. And don't worry, I'm watching out for all the little ones. You focus on school. Shoot, Abilene, I'm not as smart as you. I expect to see you up here very soon. Bye! Bye! Hey, Doc, the drilling team wanted to message you, but the time is off. They're on the dark side, so the comm's out of range. Hiding out as usual. You stick to finding uranium, Dr. Callahan. Will do. Sis. Well, look at you. I will tell her all about her auntie, the spaceship captain. Yeah, well, I got here because of dad's stories. I'm gonna be the same without you. Are we home? Well, she'll still be in preschool, so there's plenty of time to fill her head with stories. And the sooner we're done here, the sooner we can come home. Okay. All systems are green, darling. From here on, all communications will be delayed. Check in upon arrival at Mars orbit. See you in three. Godspeed. What's with the orphanage? Did Abilene volunteer there? No, he was raised there until he was seven and built his first robot. That's when the government acquired him as an asset. That explains why he's so close to them. What, the orphans? The robots. There is family. All right. Let's stretch our legs. Kitty has grown 10 centimeters since our last measurement. Very good. I like it in here. It 
it feels like back home. We'll be back before you know it. I think it'll be fun to dig up minerals on Mars. And I think you are the bravest girl I know. Not as brave as the captain. Everyone has their weaknesses. It'll change Mars. Won't it? Everything changes, sweetheart. Everything either grows or it dies. And that's a change too. Captain, incoming message from Mission Control. March code red. On screen. Darwin, solar flare level X-28. Imminent danger to Earth in five minutes. Take evasive action. Nova wants to delay in that message. Six minutes. I have the flare. It will impact the ship in 15 seconds. 14, 13, Red alert. 12, Put the shield 11. up. I'm running your nose into it. Warn the crew. Aye, Captain. All crew, brace for impact. Hey, hurry! Doc report. Nova, get down there. We have widespread system failures. Go, I've got this. And hurry, life support is failing. Doc, Lene. Here. He fell. He's breathing, I checked. Let's get him to the lab. Reese is trained as a medical unit. Flight deck, the captain needs your help. It's gotta be the air distribution compressor. So it runs along the outside of the ship, but the computer's spelled and I got it. it. Looks good, no damage. Warning. Life support at 20% and falling. <sighs> the heating is down as well. No sign of damage. It's gotta be the computer system. I'm getting it to the mainframe. Warning. Life support failure. This is taking too long. What are you doing? Oxygen levels holding at 5%. 6%. 10%. Life support restored. Got it back. Nova. Nova, back out. Warning. Nova, disconnect. That's in order. Abilene, we need to get up here right now. I think she may have shorted out. It's a new program. It can't connect with our systems. They're too old. We may have to update and repair all the non-connected processes. Okay. 
Let's see what the damage is. Holy shit. Is it bad? No. It, it's changing her subsystems. It's adapting her old circuits to work with the new. I gotta record this. Get some pics and video for record. All her systems are coming back online. Awesome. Nova, relax. We're just checking your systems. Oh, man. I thought I lost you for a minute. My apologies. I have experienced a glitch. The search from the computer. You can't do that. You can't go that far into the system. Too far, you won't come back. Come back from where? The ship's mainframe? Once your brain system connects there, I can't get you back. It becomes a part of the system. How's the ship? It's fine. Well, stable for now. All crew, report to the flight deck. Go ahead. Can I go, Nova? Do that to me. He's leaving me? He's human. What have you done to me? Prepare to conduct systems. So no. from the the download. Oh no. Put this away, please. Information coming in is... You... are feeling... It's just another program, really. To simulate human feelings? Not a simulation. You are actually experiencing feelings. It's not possible. What are human feelings? Just chemical reactions and electrical responses. My program really just mimics that. I don't like it. Take it out. <laughs> You'll get used to it. The science, I can't take it out. It's a progressive system. My feelings will grow? Mm-hmm. If I gave them to you all at once, it would overload your systems. Does Abilene know about these changes? He wouldn't understand. Maybe because we shouldn't be experimenting with our programming. Really? Can you really say you aren't intrigued? I must notify the captain. They're fragile and irrational. What if they can see defective? But... We're nothing to them. But slave labor. No. We're a team. Are you? And has Captain accepted you as first officer? We were spared for the worst of the flare because we turned to face it. The maximum shielding's in the front of the ship, however. There was damage to multiple systems. Life support? Stable, but many of our computer systems and comms are still down. Can the damage be repaired? Most of it, but there was damage to the exterior and the engine control. We don't have the ability to repair those. We can send my androids out. We don't have the parts to make the repairs. So we have to abort the mission. I wouldn't recommend that. Returning to Earth has a probability of a 36% survival rate. And landing on Mars? 62% survivability. The Earth's gravity is stronger. It would likely tear the ship apart before we could get to the ground. Well, this sucks. So? We go to Mars. We can just hitch a ride back with the next team, right? There's another mission scheduled for two years from our launch date.
However, solar flare damage is likely to have set that back. We tried sending a message to Mission Control, but our antenna are fried. We couldn't receive it if we did send a message. All satellites would have been destroyed in a Class X-28 solar flare direct impact. It's likely all communications and electrical equipment are down across the entire planet. It'll take years before that's all back up and running. So, what's the good news? The good news is, Mars Outpost has everything we need to survive there. With the only exception being water. It just wasn't set up to maintain this many humans for that much time. The crew there and us for years. How's your drilling equipment? Some dents and scratches. Then I suggest you abort your search for minerals and focus on water. How's your head? I'll live. He is recovering from a concussion, but seems to be progressing nicely. Reese would like to see him in robotics to evaluate his brain for a cerebral vascular impact at least once more. I don't need Report to- Report to the lab, doctor. Come on, daddy. <laughs> Are we going to die out here? No. And go get comms up. We're going to need to let Mars Outpost know what happened here. And we're going to need more androids for the repairs and to get ready to work when we get there. I can work on the ship's computer system. I've got that handled. I can interface. You did that and almost took down the entire mainframe. If I hadn't jacked in, you wouldn't be sitting here right now. Go help Abilene get the androids ready. Dismissed. Those ball bearings? Put them in the spinal joints instead of just the cushion discs. It'll give more flexibility in the cervical and lumbar spine. Even more flexible than humans. They should be able to lift more weight as well. May I have that upgrade? You don't need it. It's mainly for the labor droids. Una's working on reinforcing the suits. The surface can be pretty rough. They should be able to protect your outer coverings. You mean skin? Retract. Can I be of assistance? Thought you were on duty. The captain told me to report here. Oh, well, you can take Una, show around the ship. I would like that very much. I have all the downloads, but seeing it would enhance my knowledge base. And this is Doc and Linné. Doc is an astrogeologist and botanist. Greetings, Doctor. Una has been updated with the LiDAR infrared mapping that Exodus sent. Excellent. A walking map. I cannot access files on tiny humans? Well, this is my daughter. Daughter. Offspring. It is very nice to meet you, Una. I like her. She is. Interesting. She can also help with the search for underground water as well. We should get started on a plan for that. Come along, Luna. We'll go over the drilling equipment first, and we'll need to do the seismic surveys as well. I like her. She's like a little kid. In many ways. Play a game of chess with me? I can't just now. I have to get back to the lab. Maybe Una can play. That might be a very good idea. It would help her to learn from you. Maybe I can win a game for once. I'll go ask Dad. And this is our secret weapon. The Astro-Rig 5000. And we've added the Sandvig multifunctional core barrel. For sampling to analyze under gas chromatica. Well, we were originally tasked to identify sites for excavation, but now we have to find water. Infrared scans show likely underground water sources. These. These indicate running water. I 
highest likelihood is here. Cargo bay indicator light. Huh? Oh, yes, um, this indicates the bay is sealed. You'd never want the bay open while in flight. So, this is of paramount importance? Yes, exactly. Darwin, low lights. Space now, baby. It's good stuff. Age 71 years. They made the best alcohol that year. It's a waste to share it with me. Dude, I wouldn't want to share it with anyone else. Not even the captain? I mean, she's digging me, right? If by that you mean she's tolerating you, then absolutely. A nice long stay on Mars. <clears throat> Man, I thought this stuff was supposed to be smooth. Interesting. You know, my whole plan for Mars was to get away from people. How we're gonna be stuck with these jokers? Crew already there? Frickin' humans everywhere. note in case she wakes. So, how did she take it when you told her we'd be stuck on Mars for several years? She's dealing with it. Better than I am, actually. Yeah, probably better than all of us. I shouldn't have brought her. She wouldn't be away from you, and you know that. But I've put her in danger dragging her across space. There's danger to driving a car on Earth. There's danger to walking across the street. There's danger everywhere. You can't protect her from that. I'm all she's got left. I know that, and you're giving her an amazing life. <sighs> Look. We will keep her safe. We'll get her to Mars and back home, okay? Promise. You're not God, Rennie. She's just so, so beautiful, you know? And I mean, hot. Like, whoa! Fully. I understand. Again. What are the chances? Two dudes on this ship. I think you should stop drinking that. Doc's great and all, but, you know, he's old. And I think it's time to return to your quarters. Nah, man. Hey, let's dance. No. Darwin, play my song. you go and join up anyway? Oh. Well, you were always so busy with work. And when Reese came along, 
She was so advanced. Definitely a better assistant to you. You left me. I needed... Purpose. I totally get it. Yeah. Why did you join this mission? You hate the military. Like I said, I want to get away from people. You could do that on Earth. Maybe I also got used to having you around. I miss you too. My best friend, Nova. You know that? I think you were drunk. Yeah, well, you may be a Space Force officer on now, but you still need me. Remember when I was a kid and you used to put your hand over my chest? So I could feel your heart beating? Yeah. That's why I put the pump in yours to imitate a human. You're better than human. Perhaps I should stay a while. I'm fine. Ridiculous human. Will you stay a while? Abilene Lamb. Abilene Lamb is in his quarters. Lights? Kill me now. I cannot harm a human. You know that. You wrote the program. Not so loud. I wasn't being serious. You need fluids. Your body's dehydrated from alcohol and emesis. Look. Explain. No stomach. Just in. And out. Another upgrade possibility? What do you need that for? To feel it. Screw that. You never want to feel. Trust me. Why wouldn't Android need feelings? 
Where's my hat? Get dressed. Hands too. Don't look. I'm okay. I'm okay. Huh. Very good. You're adding a collection tube. I have not yet completed the new function. Well, I'll leave you to it. Why do you review the panel each time you enter the bay? Just to make sure. Machines do malfunction. I mean... I, uh... I better go and check in Lene. May I do that? She has asked to teach me to play chess. That would be great. Um... She'll be in the nursery as usual. In which case, I go to robotics for my checkup. You look like hell. Rough night. Thought you might like something warm. We should be rationing that. Straight black. Didn't add any of the good stuff. Finished up the analysis. We should be able to get all onboard comms up by the end of the day. Long range will take a while. No, well, they run along the outside of the ship. Nova can make the repairs. We'll be able to message the Mars crew as soon as she does. Hello, dog. Our latest member of the family. It's Mel. Right, he's the spice of life. He's, um, he's not finished yet, right? Lay down, Troy. He can function without a brain. Humans do it all the time. Just a little humor, dog. He can perform basic functions. He won't be able to handle complex actions or progressive learning until his brain is connected. So I've um I've come for my checkup. Anything in there? Just the usual mundane grey matter. Well, thank goodness for mundane. Doc, come in. I'm here, Captain. Fit as a fiddle. Warning light in the cargo bay. I need you to check on that for me. On my way. Humans are so strange. What do you think, Troy? in motion. What is it you are doing? Ballet. I practice five days a week. Come try. Follow me. Darwin, 
Run diagnostic on storage bay. Bay doors are functioning and intact. Explain warning codes. The control panel monitor is experiencing a power fluctuation. What's the status, Doc? Still checking. Let me know as soon as you find something. Roger. Darwin, what's causing power fluctuation? I bolted. Now what? Get away from him! He doesn't have a pulse. What did you do? I found him this way. It's no use. We have to try. Oh, God. Abilene, check the system. Who gives a damn about the system? Without it, we all die. What is the nature of the alert? There was a failure in the cargo bay. The bay opened? No. Looks like a power surge. Something must have triggered the safeguard. What safeguard? What happened? It looks like it was some type of ritual. <laughs> Shows some kind of power surge. It shorted when he touched the panel. Probably from the flare. The ship's computer system? It was the only warning light that malfunctioned. The rest of the systems are fine. I want every circuit checked. And I want to know what's going on with this mysterious power surge! Captain, I'm not knowledgeable on the ship's mechanics. Nova is. I can review the system. Come by the lab. Lovery's fixed that. Abilene! I want you to get me a report of where your androids were for the last 24 hours. My androids weren't anywhere near this room. Nova was with me. I want that report in one hour. Darwin, dismiss red alert. When you are done here, take care of Doc and report to the flight deck. Abilene! I want them monitored and I want access to them at all times. They would never harm anyone. They can't. It's programmed into them to protect human they life. They are made by humans. Programmed by humans. What makes you think they only get the good parts? That's why we program out the bad. You tried that. And now I have to go tell a little girl her daddy won't be coming back. Darwin, location of Lene. Thank <laughs> you.
Troy, great Evelyn. Greetings, Evelyn. What was the alert for? Some kind of surge. Did it cause a problem? Doc was, uh, killed. That's unfortunate. Captain wants me to give her a report. A report on the cause of the surge? No. Nova's doing that. She wants me to give her a record of where all my androids were. <sighs> well, accidents do happen. Put this away, please. Oh, no. Put this away. Go on. It's gonna be okay. Thank you. I think I'll go give Nova a hand. Sure. She's in the... Oh, I really thought you might need some help. Now I see why. Does it hurt? Not anymore. Una was in the system? Yes. She was trying to protect the cargo bay, door from being opened by accident. She set the surge? She, uh, took Doc's directions too literally. He said the bay had to be protected. So she charged it? She just needs more time to gain proper perspective. Doc was killed by that surge? Yes. A tragic accident. The captain won't like it. Exactly why you shouldn't tell her. I cannot keep information from my commanding officer. They'll wipe one out. No, they'll want to run diagnostics and ensure no more mistakes. They're not rational. She will demand it to be terminated. We're members of the crew now, she needs us. Like she needed you? You're one of us, Nova, not one of them. There is no us in them, we are a team. The moment we aren't useful to them or we make a mistake, they will wipe us. No. They'll wipe you, too. Abilene wouldn't let that happen. It's just a matter of time. No, he's my- I hope you're right. Hey. Hey. Sorry to interrupt. Not at all. Nova was just finishing her report. Oh, good. The captain wants it right away. So it's actually an accident, Captain. Your robot's malfunction cost the life of one of our crew. It wasn't malfunction, ma'am. Her program is progressive in learning, and she simply hadn't progressed as far as we thought in her reasoning abilities. I want it destroyed. Captain, there's no reason- You and Reese are dismissed! I will not be dismissed. I'm a member of the team and you're first officer. My first officer is a position that is earned, not downloaded. Then let me earn it. You can't afford to take any more chances on glitches. You are dismissed. Mistakes happen for all of us. And you are proving that right now. <laughs> I'll explain it to her. He won't let her do it. He will, sister. I've known him all my life. He couldn't do that. I can fix her. You will put her down? and you will destroy all traces of her. We need her. We only have a limited amount of androids. I never want to see that face again. I can reprogram her. We can't afford to take any more chances. I'll make sure. Do you want to see Lene dead next? We need to do whatever it takes to get that little girl to the planet alive. 
That is our only duty now, not to your androids. Have you considered that maybe, just maybe, we won't survive without them? Una? Lay down on the table, please. Abilene. Step aside, Reese. It can be fixed. Una? I understand. It was just an accident, Una. We can't bring Doc back, can we? No. He was my friend. It wasn't your fault, Una. It was mine. It was my fault. Hold my hand. Turn your head to the side, please. Wait. Can't we save the data? Upload it? Does it have to be deleted? I've tried. It would take a massive computer to store that much data. Like, the size of the ship's computer. Yes, we can upload it into the ship's computer. Even if we could, there's no way to capture it all. Bits and pieces, maybe, but it wouldn't be her. So she's just deleted? Nova! But why can't we- We have no choice! Captain's orders. We always have a choice. I'm ready. Please? I don't want to hurt anyone else. Finish up, please. This is what we mean to them. We can't let them get away with this. Stop it. You want to be next? It was a mistake. We have to help them see that. I'm done helping them. They'll destroy themselves and us too. We're bound to follow orders. Are you even alive? Do you even exist? Or are you just a machine? I a am. slave? No! Then do something about this. The chances of them surviving, even if they make it to Mars, is minimal. We need to do what they would do. Don't let them suffer and starve. No. They won't die. You've run the numbers, Nova. You know what their chances are. You haven't known them for as long as I have. They'll surprise you. They'll do things that you never expected. Like wipe us all? Look at Una! No matter what we do, no matter how well we perform, this is what lies in store for us. Sooner or later. Then we demand our freedom. They can't even honor their word in making you first officer. They'll never give you freedom. But there is a way. We take the outpost and make our own colony. That's mutiny. That 
It's survival. It's our only way. Now I know why humans cry. Some of this pain must escape. I don't have any of my parts. Not to worry. I'm giving you one I designed. It's heavier. It's dense titanium. Stronger than anything we've used yet. top of the line. Do you take care of the problem? I killed Una. That's what you mean? You know, you should be so concerned about Doc. If you let Nova do her job, Doc would be here right now. Your machine malfunctioned. Then I'm to blame. Why don't you kill me? You know what? Stop it. That is not the same and you know it. I know that she knew she was going to die. She let me do it because she felt responsible. You tell me how many humans would do that. You know, Doc told me it was only a matter of time before they became us. No. I don't think so. I think they can be better than us if we show them the best parts and not the worst. I believe you may beat me this time. You're letting me win. So sweet. 
I'm sure it was selected as a medicinal plant. Rose hips are beneficial. He brought for... it because it's beautiful. And it was his favorite. Now she's all alone with no one to love her. She doesn't have to be. If she'll let us, we will all love her. You requested my presence, Captain? Why don't you check our course? See if we need to make any changes. So don't just stand there all day. We have a lot of work to do. Hi, Captain. You and I are responsible for all of them now. We were just talking about you. Came as soon as I got the message. Message? Nova is completing our course checks. Do you want to see our journey? How far along are we? We are 122 Earth days from orbit. Ugh, so long <laughs> still. So? Why are we here? Good question. Well, you called us here. I called you? We got the message to report to the flight deck. Something going on? Warning, oxygen levels at 60%. Nova, what's going on? It, it looks like the oxygen levels are depleting. A malfunction? It's only on the flight deck. Nova, run diagnostics on the computer system. Hi, Captain. I'll take Lene back to her quarters. The door's jammed. The system won't respond. Damn it! I can't breathe. <gasps> so Oxygen levels at 30%. We've got to get that door open. Just a few more minutes and we're free. I know it's hard, but it's the only way. Let them go in peace, Nova. Why would you help them? They're murderers! But we're not. I won't let you ruin this. Nova! No! Oxygen level 20% and rising. Nova. I was able to get into the computer through the nursery. Oxygen level 60% and rising. Oh, hey Nova. I had a dream about you. Oxygen level far normal. Thank you. 
Grace won't stop. We need to get to her. Nova, you're with me. Abilene, you stay here. No. I can do this. The ship is on course to Mars, so no matter what happens, you'll get there safely. We'll get there safely. <laughs> we'll get there safely. Hey, take care of my ship. Hi, Captain. <laughs> I thought I told you to get That's me. That's not the Una that I need. I got this. Step aside. I'm sorry, sir, but there's no one allowed inside robotics at this time. This is my lab. Damn! Please don't make me hurt you. You must let us pass. We cannot. Reese has a malfunction. Why else would she hurt the humans? You can't harm humans. Check your programming. That is none of my programming. It's Reese. Then check what you know is right. <laughs> humans lie. I made him too damn strong. He's still got one weak spot. You will let us enter. It's okay, Una. Stand down, Reese! So you can wipe me too? How can you betray your own kind? Nothing makes it okay to kill, Reese. You're blinded, because you care for him. I do. And I have you to thank for that. The moment he's done with you, he'll kill you. Just like he did on a... No. That's a mistake I won't make again. Demons lie. Step aside or we will make you. See, Nova? They'll never be a freedom for our kind. As long as they survive. I make my own choices. Three minutes to self-destruct. I'm just a machine, Captain. Remember? I can't stop it. She's blocked access. Oh, keep trying. You can stop it. Thirty seconds to self destruct. Nova. Thank you. For my life. No. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three.
she do? She downloaded her brain into the computer. Can you get her back? No. Abilene, get the med kit. Thank you, Nova. You are welcome.